Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a technology and business consulting company that helps organizations initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and processes. This video, along with others on our channel, should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, peer overviews, and take part in lessons we've designed to help you. We're focused on continuing to develop this community, and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks, and enjoy. The way that Celtex works, or reporting on Celtex, is you look at, you use the planning, uh, planning connection, or the planning driver, and if you run a financial report that comes across an intersection that has Celtex, you'll get it on the report. But it's very difficult to uh, create a report that has all of the cell text related to a budgeting cycle. And that's pretty important if you, if you, you know, we, we have clients that have, you know, designed their, their business process to, to work within this tool, and they, they use cell text a lot. Like I said, there's a ton of flexibility. Um, and but but to report on it, usually you'd want to say okay I just got through with my, my my forecast cycle okay here's here are all the changes from this from this forecast to last month's forecast and here are all the here are all the explanations as to why you want to be able to report on that and and maybe print it out look at it um, but you'd like to have it in its entirety and it's not that the tool doesn't get you that information you can get that but you have to have a query or a report that hits every single uh, piece of cell text and it has to you know have to run through that report that is technically challenging or not that's just challenging in general <clears throat> so like I said if the report has it it'll show up um, out of the box it's not possible to have the presence of cell text drive the report output or the rows return to the report and that's really the problem that we're trying to solve is have the presence of the cell text actually drive the report So we're going to show a way to get around that or to, to solve this problem. The solution actually uses a, a data export from, uh, from planning directly into a relational table. And so you, this export, you know, if, if you're familiar with the data export function, this export could be slow. So, what you're doing is you're ex you want to export all all levels in the database, and not only that, all dynamic members as well. And those are those are options in the data export that you can use. Uh, and you know, just be mindful that if it's not sample basic that you're working with, it could be slow, and you wouldn't want it. This would probably be a weekly or maybe a monthly thing. Uh, so the cell text, as I mentioned before, is stored in the planning repository. There's actually in, in two tables, I believe it's uh, cell text and cell text detail, something, something to that effect. Uh, but if you have access to that repository, you could actually pull out all the cell texts that are related to, um, to a various intersection in S-space. So the, in, in bullet one here, we have uh, the data, the data that lives in S-space. That's, that's now in a relational table. And now in part two, we're saying, OK, go into the repository or create a view into the repository that shows you the comment and, and as in the repository it also has the intersection that the comment applies to. So go into there, get the comment, get the intersection, now marry those two together. And you know maybe that's another view if, if the performance is acceptable. But now you have the data and you have all the cell text joined together in, in one, uh, one SQL view or table. And now uh, you use web analysis to go after that information. In web analysis, there's a spreadsheet control. You drop that on a form, uh, drop that on, on a report, and you go after that table. Uh, and you can see in here is, you know, it's basically going to bring all your comments back and you can you have effectively the intersection and the, the data from S space and the comments from the repository 
you can put control you can put drop downs on there you can put that if you if you have a web analysis dashboard you can have that as a, a quadrant in the dashboard or you can link to it and you know if you're familiar with web analysis you can you can get pretty uh, pretty sophisticated and you could you could also drop this you know using smart view drop that down into powerpoint or whatever you want to to use for reporting all the different front end access tools that I showed in the, in the beginning not all of them but some of them uh, and so that's that's a method that you can use to actually report on all commentary associated with a budgeting cycle. All you'd have to do is uh, have a couple of drop downs, one be uh, you know scenario versioning year, and then you can say pick budget, final, FY10, there's all your comments. What you can actually do is um, Automate. You can you can actually tie this together from a task list as well in planning. Uh, I don't actually in the in the in this screenshot right here. This is actually a task list. Step one was to export the information. Step two was to prepare it. Step three was to launch the web analysis report, which you see right here. So you can actually put a task list or a sequence together to to you know step your users through this process. Um, probably not the data export part. You wouldn't want to actually implement that from a task list because that could be, like I said, could take a little while. But there, you know, you, task lists are task lists are a great way to expose uh, functionality uh, to um, different different pieces of functionality that may not seem connected together, but you can connect them together with a task list, which is great. So the last step in a task list is launch the web analysis report.